to G.I. Joe was always first and foremost a vehicle line. And you can't have vehicles without drivers, so I'm going to show you a bunch that we've got coming up. First up is Sergeant Slaughter. Driver, you might ask, well, this particular version was the one that came with the Triple T, so we're going to count them. This is from 1986. He is loose. A little bit of wear on the back, probably from sitting in the Triple T. He's got that loose elbow. We want to show you that right there. Yeah, pretty loose on the elbow, but the rest is looking pretty good. Crotch is intact. Thumbs are intact. Head moves. We just saw the uh, waist and the knees, and all around a great figure right there. Moving back real old school with Ace from 1983. As you can see, he's got some yellowing in the white part, which is normal. You can, uh, there's a lot of things that you can do to sort of fix that up, but we don't do that. We allow you exactly as it came out of the estate. We'll show you the movement. Little, little, uh, head was different than some of the later ones. Obviously, he only has left and right, but otherwise, the joints are looking pretty good. We're moving right along here to Backstop from 1987. And we'll show you... Well, Cut off on the head a little bit there. That's okay. We'll show you uh, the legs are moving nice. Shoulders and arms are moving nice. No real major flaws or issues that I see on this one. And finally, we do the, uh, the wiggle jiggle on the head. So you can see that ball joint. All around looking pretty good on Pathfinder. Moving back to 1986, this is G.I. Joe Lift Ticket. Great piece right there. Now, like usually happens with Lift Ticket, he is missing his microphone. Does not have that mic, but he's got a lot of good other things. A little bit of wear on the nose. I don't know. Is it just because his nose is slightly longer than other figures that it tended to wear like that? Maybe, maybe not. The joints seem to move. They've got good give on them. Not too stiff, but also not too loose, including that ball joint on the head. And we're going to round it out here with some lampreys. If you remember, the driver of the Hydrofoil from 1985. Looking pretty good here. I always like this figure. Even if he is powder blue and that doesn't seem to, uh, to really go with the Hydrofoil, it's still a fun little figure right here. I do want to point out his waist is loose. He probably could use a new O-ring. Now we'll leave that to the buyer if that's what they choose to do or if they just want to display him or set him in that hydrofoil and let him do what he's going to do. Joints looking pretty good there. A little bit of looseness in that uh, the neck ball joint, but otherwise a great figure. We'll spin them all the way around so you can see the paint job on this one finish out our drivers. Head on over to TheBigToyAuction.com and get them today.